Hi everybody, this is Fred Sanchez with Mariachi Clothing Company and today you are going to learn how to change guitarron strings on a guitarron that has mechanical pegs. It has been one of our most requested videos. So if you stick around, you'll get to learn how to do it. Also make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and share with your friends. In order to change the strings on a guitarron, you're gonna need three simple things. You're gonna need a guitarron that has mechanical pegs. Whoa! You're going to need guitarron strings. Whoa! Selmer, guitarron strings. And you're going to need a string cutter. Whoa! <laughs> when you are changing your strings, that the mechanical pegs, they have a position that is a locked position and an unlocked position. The unlocked position will have a little bit of threading available and when, when you're changing. So you are going to see a little bit of things. So make sure that your guitarron peg is on the unlocked position. I'm going to swap it like this real quick. So you're gonna make sure that you put in the unlocked position. That way it moves quickly. You loosen it up and you take it out. We're going to open, these are the summer reds. We don't need that. We're going to do the do string, la corda de do. Once you get your string right here, make sure that you, your guitarron peg again. I'm going to do it like this. It's going to be a lot harder because I can't really see what I'm doing on, at this angle. So we're going to get our peg. Make sure that we have it on the open position. So you're going to see that little bit of extra thread right there. And we're going to start winding it to make sure we have it nice and straight. Now the important thing is that once you get it to a place where you have enough tension, you have to push in the peg so it locks. That's going to be around where you want it. In some guitarrones, you may need to actually cut off some of the excess right here. So one other thing that will probably help you is to have a tuner. So now we got it to about where we want the tuning. We will need to stretch it, etc. Now we do the next string, which is the E string. La cuerda de mi. Want to make sure that this is straight when it gets like this, that it's not looped over or bundled up. Again, I put it into the locking position. That little squeakiness is not the mouse, it's actually the peg. In case of thin, thin strings like the E, if you see that your string can't actually go all the way through, one of the things that I would recommend is that you actually loop it around because it will be, especially with strings like the E, will be small enough that you can actually do a very small knot and then you can start bringing the string over here to make sure that it doesn't loop, uh, loosen up. And you can see how easy, especially with, with these mechanical pegs, how easy it actually is to be able to change the strings. You, you don't get any stuck strings, you don't get them um, you know, the pegs popping back and loosening up. So, let me move this one. So you bring it in a little bit. Right now I have it in the unlock position. You make sure that we loop it below itself. So that sometimes that's a little bit easier said than done. So there we go. You never cut this until you know that for sure you have that whole section and that whole string actually good to go. And I'm going to check with my tuner again. It's a C, so bring it up to an E. And again, you can see how easy it is to tune. And 
now that I know that these for sure are good to go, I get my string cutter and I just cut the excess. So you have nice, elegant, beautiful strings on your instrument. And now we just do the other strings. The steel ones are a lot easier to do. The threading on the string. It goes all the way to the end of the string. So right now, even with the, with the metal ones, it's even more important to make sure that when you come through, that that metal loop is completely correct. So same thing, you pass it through, make sure that you leave enough extra so you make sure that on the other side that you pr bring the loop in all the way. So sometimes you're going to notice that some of the strings they have at the tip a part that's a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. So, and sometimes depending on, on your guitarron, on the holes that you have on the bridge, it might not fit. So one of the good things that you can do is you can just cut off that tip to make it smaller. Do it, this with the metals, not with the nylons. Nylons will fray. So now it will fit without an issue where before it didn't fit. Again, make sure that the loop is nice and flat, then you bring it in again, you start bringing it in, make sure that you have enough so it'll be able to lock itself into place. We change the A, which again, it should be the biggest hole, so we shouldn't have any issues, there we go. And now, so I'm doing this, this last string right here. It's very important that you guys are using the best tools and the best uh, strings. Change them as much as needed, because a lot of people don't change them. Their instruments sound bad, they have good instruments, their instruments sound bad. So finally, once we have figured that our strings are good to go, we do the final cuts. And there we go. It looks very elegant. Actually, this could benefit from a little trim again, so it's not hanging. So there you have it. The whole process took us about 10, 15 minutes, and because I had to explain it took a little bit longer uh, you know at a gig if you have a string pop within 30 seconds to a minute and a half two minutes you can quickly swap it quickly swap it out and again with mechanical pegs it makes your life so much easier same thing um, is for pegs for changing strings with pegs the difference is with pegs a lot of times you get pegs that slip and as you're tuning it'll you know completely unwind or they'll get stuck and when you try to tune it's like clack, clack, clack and then it pops strings because it you need too much force to be able to tune them. Uh, but it's a, the same exact technique to change them. Hopefully you guys have found this to be educational. If you liked it uh, and you want to share it with your friends, share it with your friends. Click the like button, click the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications. Once again, this is Fred Sanchez with Marachi Clothing Company. And this has been our instructional video on how to change guitarron strings on instruments that have mechanical pegs. Again, it can be for regular pegs as well, but the focus is mechanical pegs and understanding the locking mechanism. Have a good one and see you next time.